Hey guys, Stockaholics. Thanks for being here today. Rant time. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to be making this video today, kind of be sharing some of the thoughts that I've had, uh, particularly in the last 24 hours, some of the observations I've made, and hopefully you guys can learn something from it. So, this morning I woke up. I was very excited to come check my. Uh, YouTube channel, see if I had any cool comments, and I did. <laughs> so uh, this morning I had several comments that were from different people that seemed to be uh, a little negative in nature, um, but they kind of bothered me, and I wanted to think about that today. So let me just share some of those comments first of all. Um, somebody said that I'm an idiot. Uh, absolutely, I agree. He's right on that. <laughs> Somebody else said, I look like a pedophile and I uh, hopes that I go broke and that I should shave that patch of hair under my lip. Okay, well, thank goodness this is not a beauty channel. Whew, dodged a bullet on that one. And I had received, you know, several comments with some unsolicited advice about kind of like my video sucking, which is fine. It, you know, you can, sure, they suck, right? Um, but one that kind of bothered me, you know, if, if you want, if somebody says, you know, hey, XYZ kind of junk in your video, you know, you might, your videos might elevate if you improve them. You know, I would definitely consider it, but <laughs> this, this is kind of a way to say things, right? So never, you're never going to get any views because you're talking for 25 minutes in every video, right? I was like, okay, but that's kind of not why I make videos. So. I guess I was thinking a little bit about negativity today and I guess being locked into certain ideas, right? You know, the, these people who kind of said these things um, probably have their own kinds of belief sets on their own kinds of investments and why they think mine are stupid, right? So uh, I'd also like to say, you know, I'm not a saint, you know, I, I have my own predispositions. I kind of, I try to, uh, my best to tone it down, but you know, I. I'm probably just as guilty of it as, as anybody else, right? Um, I think my ideas are good, but you know I should because they're mine, right? <laughs> um, but I do think that there needs to be a distinction between arrogance and confidence. And I guess a lot of the ideas I try I make I try to back up with evidence. So the other thing is like it got me thinking. Well, why do I have a YouTube channel, right? You know. It's not because I think I'm going to make a lot of money doing this. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, a lot of the ideas that I have are contrarian ideas. The The very nature of them means that they should be unpopular. Therefore, I shouldn't be getting a lot of views on any of my videos, right? So I think that I'm going to be making some kind of uh, money doing these things. No. That, so that's not why I'm making videos, right? Um, it's not because I'm thinking that I would like to exploit people and create some kind of pump and dump after creating some sort of ethos with an audience. No. You know, I, it's not my goal. I like to think I have some kind of moral compass. That's not why I'm making video. And it's not because I need attention either. No. My goal with this channel is to become a better investor. Um, I talk about often what are despised sectors. So often the videos I make, uh, they're not actually for my audience. Uh, believe it or not, they're for me. <laughs> so, uh, my profession, I'm a teacher by trade, and for me, for personally, I believe that if I can teach a concept, that means that I understand it, and particularly when I am trying to do things against the grain, I'm trying to go against the flow, if I can explain to others my beliefs, then that solidifies the thoughts and my beliefs in my own mind. Um, you know, being a contrarian investor, it sucks. <laughs> it's hard. It's you're you're buying shit that nobody else wants to buy, and you're doing it when there's often nobody else that's going to support you, right? You know that doesn't necessarily mean that going against the grain necessarily makes me right or wrong either, right? You know, people who may be going with the grain could be correct, and you know, I could just be a big dummy, right? Um, but uh, I like to think. <laughs> that I'm, I'm smarter than the average person. But that's not because I have some inherent talent 
or, or I have some uh, something special about me that makes me better than other people. No, it's because I like to expose myself um, to new ideas and because I try to focus on getting better and improving myself while I am learning those ideas, right? So uh, part of my goal is not only to share my ideas, but to expose them to criticism. You know, if someone wants to tell me that I'm wrong, you know, that because of XYZ, that'd be fantastic, right? But for someone to come and tell me that I'm an idiot or that I'm a pedophile, you know, that's not particularly constructive and it doesn't make me super excited to make videos, <laughs> I will say. <laughs> but, you know, I don't want to focus on the negative because I know I have, you know, I've received tons of positive comments. So, I, from people that who who enjoy watching it so I really need to try and focus on you know the positives in that regard right and I also thought a little bit today about what it means to be a losing player because uh, I made a video before about some of the experiences I made while I was a uh, professional <laughs> poker player right um, Losing players, they tend to get stuck in you know a certain mindset. They tend to they tend to think that they're awesome, but they don't tend to put in additional work to actually become better than other people. So, you know, and I think I mentioned variance a little bit before. Variance is a concept that's alien to most people's brains, and because I've played this game and because I've understood it so well, uh, I understand the concept of variance. You know, it, it's one thing to be uh, winning for a certain period of time, right? But it's another thing to be winning over an extended period of time, right? And I believe um, to become a successful investor, it takes work. It takes effort. It takes exposing yourself to new ideas. And to defeat that uh, variance, to uh, avoid those losing mistakes that... Uh, losing players do and to capitalize on the achievements that winning players do it takes effort I also saw this quote today from Mahatma Gandhi and it goes as this first they ignore you then they laugh at you and then they fight you and then you win <laughs>